Bass Reeves has gone down in history as a legendary lawman of the Wild West, and for good reason. Reeves was appointed Deputy United States Marshal in 1875 by Hanging Judge Isaac Charles Parker and served in that position until 1907. It has been estimated that Reeves arrested more than 3,000 men and women during that time. Reeves was born into slavery, and as he did not receive any formal education, was illiterate. So, unfortunately, there are not any written memoirs from Bass Reeves. However, the words of Bass Reeves are still preserved in court documents in which he gave testimony and in direct quotes that were either remembered by witnesses or written down in the newspaper. The following are four of those direct quotes. When you get as big as me, a small horse is as worthless as a preacher in a whiskey joint fight. Just when you need him bad to help you out, he's got to stop and think about it a little bit. Bass Reeves was indeed a large man. He stood at 6 feet 2 inches tall and weighed 180 pounds. A guilty man always has a fear on him which he cannot hide. I never shot at a man in my life that I did not kill. It is thought that Bass Reeves killed 14 outlaws during his time as Deputy U.S. Marshal. For 31 years, going on 32, I have ridden as Deputy Marshal, sir, and when Marsh Bennett goes out of office, I am going to farming for a living. The Marsh Bennett Reeves is referring to is Marshal Leo Edmund Bennett, who was appointed as a United States Marshal during President McKinley's term in office. Bass Reeves worked closely with Leo Bennett, and both had great respect for the other. The bravest man I ever saw was Jim Webb, a Mexican that I killed in 1884 near Sacred Heart Mission. He was a murderer. I got in between him and his horse. He stepped out into the open 500 yards away and commenced shooting with his Winchester. Before I could drop off my horse, his first bullet cut a button off my coat and the second cut my bridle rein in two. I shifted my six-shooter, grabbed my Winchester, shot twice. He dropped, and when I picked him up, I found that my two bullets had struck within half an inch of each other. He shot four times, and every time he shot, he kept running up closer to me. He was 500 yards away from me when I killed him. When Bass Reeves shot and killed Jim Webb, this was actually the second time the two had a confrontation. Jim Webb had been wanted for murdering Reverend William Stewart, a black preacher, over a fire that had gotten out of control and had spread to the ranch Webb was overseeing. Reeves was able to arrest Webb at his ranch, but Webb would later be released on bond. Webb would not appear for the murder trial, and so became a wanted man once more. Bass Reeves tracked Webb down to a general store, and the gunfight ensued. On his deathbed, Jim Webb offered Bass Reeves his revolver as a gift, and told Reeves that he was a brave man. 